Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, good night. Uh, my name is Obita Potato, this is City Skylines. Not quite sure why, uh, why we went with that opener, but I feel that it was just right. It was just right for the job. And yeah, let's let's get away from the uh, from the opening few lines, and uh, let's talk about the game, City Skylines. Yes. Uh, so over the last uh, couple of episodes, we've uh, we've had some, I mean, we've had some ups and downs. Everyone has ups and downs, but uh, the, the 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 good news is is that everything seems to be going reasonably smoothly, uh, with the perhaps slight exception uh, being this large emergency shelter and the uh, the traffic connections around the area. Uh, I'm not super happy that this ended up creating what, what seems to be a little bit of a nightmare. Unbelievably, it seems like a heck of a lot of traffic needs to go into this emergency shelter and I, and I, I really, I'm not sure why. Yeah, I'm not sure why everyone needs to uh, needs to go down here and have a look. Uh, I mean, it's fine, I guess. But it's just a little bit annoying. Uh, but yes, anyway, what are we going to be doing in today's in today's episode? Well, one of the things that we're going to be doing is trying to uh, trying to quell some of this large amount of demand that we've got. We've also got the capability to buy an extra. Uh, we've also got the ability to buy an extra uh, block of land, which is uh, which is what I think that we will end up doing. I want to also make sure that everyone is safe. So we want to completely. Completely, completely, completely finish up uh, with all of the sort of uh, safety safety features. We want to make sure that everyone uh, everyone is totally covered. We want to make sure that we've got uh, radio masks for everyone. We want to make sure that we've got you know sensors for absolutely every occurrence. I want to get a deep space radar as well, just in case there is a uh, a meteor that could uh, that could come in. We need to get a disaster response unit down as well. Uh, so that's all good. Now, that uh, large shelter is going to stay situated right there. I would ideally like to try and get another large shelter somewhere over here. Although I think I have learnt my lesson. I think I've learnt my lesson and I perhaps don't want to... I perhaps don't want to have the shelter connected directly to a main road because that seems to be... not giving us no end of problems, but it's, uh, it's, it's certainly not ideal. Yeah, I just not loving this. Not loving this situation at all. I mean, is there any way that we can move this? Not, not to inside the the service roundabout. I mean, it's close to to working out inside the service roundabout, but not quite. I tell you what, we can move it inside the service roundabout if and when we get a crematorium. Do we have the ability to to place down a crematorium? I think we. Yeah, we need a couple more thousand population. Okay, you know what? That will be moved uh, into the into the central area once we get uh, once we get the crematorium facilities. In the meantime, let's sort of zone some more uh, zone some more shelters. What's the capacity? Uh, it's 10,000 10, people per shelter, which I know seems like quite a lot. However, I think we're gonna we're gonna blow past 10,000 fairly soon uh, anyway. So let's try and at least future proof future-proof this somehow. Uh, maybe we want to sort of just take a little bit of a an off-road, an off-ramp here. Yeah, you know what? That would be... That would be perfect. Yep, that would be grand. And then let's just go about our business. Uh, will that fit in there? I mean, it will, but I don't really want to put it there. That's where it'll have to be. Let's get a uh, let's get an evacuation route. Literally, literally just that I think. And then maybe one more there, one more there, and then complete the line. Uh, we do need to zone some more some more housing down here, so might as well do that now. I should have drawn the evacuation route with these houses in mind, but I didn't. That's my bad, honestly. And then we need to get the services over here. So let's get power. Uh, there's a big old cable quite nearby. That's probably not the most efficient use of resources, but it's the it's the way that it's gonna it's gonna work. Grand. Uh, public transport, which we introduced in the last episode, uh, is having a well, highly limited effect. It's going to take some time before it becomes properly 
actually useful, but it will eventually it will eventually be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. You know what? At least everyone's walking everywhere. That's what mostly matters. Uh, if everyone can walk to where they need to go, then why do we even need public transport? We really, we really don't. We, we really absolutely don't. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm, I'm really not happy about the emergency shelter, but that's, it's moving. It's moving, it's moving at some point, uh, once we get crematoriums, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Houses are coming along quite nicely. Uh, we do have quite a lot of bin capacity. Let me, let me look at bins. Yeah, we got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of bin capacity, but I don't think that we have, we don't have any bin collection services over here. So, what we can do is we can sort of lump on more lump on more incineration plants, which is what I'm thinking we might do, just in the sort of bin collection area. But I'm not sure if that's gonna extend as far as we need it to over in this direction. So we might have to set up we might have to set up a, a little a little bin area. A little bin area uh, for the for the new houses. But we'll we'll get to that we'll get to that in a bit, man. I'm just so happy with how this uh, the city is looking. I really really am, genuinely. I, I really am very very happy with it. Okay, zone some more uh, some more commercial stuff. Grand. My goodness me, there are a lot of buses down here. Yeah, this is this is quite bonkers actually. I don't think that there is any way to speed this up. Yeah, the only way that we're the only way that things are going to be fixed is uh, is if we is if we legitimately get rid of that shelter. What I might do is I might turn the traffic lights off there. See if that makes any difference. Uh, what's the sign situation over here? Give those guys priority, see if that makes a difference. Uh, I think I've already banned Zebra Crossings over here, but uh, we'll... Yeah, already banned Zebra Crossings, that's fine. Okay. So if we could speed up the traffic going around that corner just a smidgen, then that would be, uh, then that would be ideal, but... I think what we really need to do is get rid of this bus shelter, uh, this uh, emergency shelter, because I just don't understand why it's so busy. Why are people going into it regularly? Surely people should just use it when they need to, i.e. in the case of an emergency. Also, look at the hundreds and hundreds of people that are waiting to get on this bus. Or loads of buses, actually. And yet, no buses are coming, because we cannot, we cannot do buses fast enough, apparently. Well, eventually the bus network will take off. I'm sure it's going to be glorious. It's going to be grand. It's going to be glorious. Happy, happy days. Uh, okay, lots and lots of stuff is happening. Man, I just love looking at this. I love looking at this city. It's it's so nice. It really is. It really is absolutely delightful. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Yeah, not super happy with that, but, uh, you know, honestly, I can live with it. I can live with it for now. I can live with it for now. Anyway, uh, let's talk objectives. I want to expand the industrial area. The industrial area is doing fine. I mean, let's have a little look at the, uh, the traffic overlay. Traffic flow is quite high, actually. I mean, there's a, you know, there's a couple of, there's a couple of areas that it's not going super fast. But they're all areas that we're, that we're aware of. Okay, also, this this has been a huge failure. This this road down here. Absolutely a huge failure. I'm going to delete it all. The reason that it's been a huge failure is because it doesn't actually speed up the traffic in any meaningful way. And it doesn't... Uh, it, means, it just means that buses have to wait longer to faff around on this, uh, on this bit of on this bit of ground here. So we'll we'll revert back to the original methods in the hope that maybe just maybe we can get uh, we can get some What the heck are you doing? What the heck was that? Back to the future. Is it gonna Oh yep, here it comes. 
You're driving home, are you? You're just gonna continue to fly over all of the roads? Yeah, beep beep, coming through. This is absolutely remarkable. I have I have never seen anything quite like this. No, you just you just going she's just going for it. This is crazy. Oh look, there she there you there we go. She's got uh, she's got home. Fantastic. Well done. Okay, I'm delighted about that. Uh yeah. Man, I just Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Well, you know what? Residents should seek shelter immediately this, if any is available. This is exactly the reason why I am ready to evacuate my citizens. Uh, how many people live over here? It can't be more than it can't be more than ten thousand. The most of the people are going to live over here, or over here, or over here. So I'm just going to put down a small shelter. That's only a thousand people, though. Maybe I'll put down two shelters. You know what? Yeah, maybe two shelters is what we need. Right, two shelters over there. Hopefully it'll have enough they'll have enough space. Maybe three shelters. Three shelters, sure. We'll do three shelters. Okay, evacuation route for shelter one. Uh Get you to stop there then stop there then stop there then there then there and then complete the line okay and then this shelter is going to have a so oh, actually evacuate yep and then this shelter is going to have a slightly longer route. There, 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 and back. Perfect. Okay, so that should be pretty much everyone in that area. And now the final, the final evacuation route. Uh, why can you not just head straight up this way? Not entirely sure why that's the case, but that's that's fine. There, there, there. And then complete the line. Okay, I'm actually reasonably happy with this, and I think that that means that absolutely everyone, absolutely everyone is covered by an evacuation route. What I should probably do... No, you know what? I was going to say, maybe I should redraw this evacuation route, but I think that the... I think that the current route will be fine. The people can just walk around. That's that's absolutely a okay. Okay, so that's that. That's sorted. Perfect. Pretty happy with that. How much does it cost for a big old deep space uh, deep space radar? I mean, I really desperately want to put one on the campus, but I also feel that maybe it shouldn't go right on the center of campus. So let's compromise on that and then put it up on the top of the hill, but somewhere else. We'll put it right up at the top here. Yeah. Something like this. Deep Space Radar. Bish Bash Bosh. Okay. Great. Uh, we need to get... We need to get... Uh... Oh, speaking of, I actually changed the radio station. I don't know if anyone has noticed or if anyone cares, but I certainly care and notice. And now we've succeeded in letting okay. you drive the undrivable. Okay. So if we got all of our dementia. The car engineer If we got all of our shelters in evacuation mode, I certainly hope so. And right. Where are the buses? Where are the buses? Be reasonable. Uh-oh. Wow. A meteor strike has occurred. Avoid the impact oh sites and head to shelter my if any is available. God. Provide peace of mind for when you rest. Okay, I mean for a small monthly sum, you can spend your final years. Release all the citizens, I guess. Um 
insurance. I mean, that was that was actually not terrible for us, technically speaking. You're listening to Mars official radio. I'm your host. Uh, I mean, my home country when I was in my twenties. Coming to a new culture is quite a challenge. It was terrible in some respects, but it was actually not too bad. You know what? I'll 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 take that. And we did lose a school, uh, one of our one of our secondary schools, and we might lose a little bit of the industrial area uh, through a little bit of a tidal wave created by the the meteor. But I think that that will fix itself fairly quickly. I don't think that we'll lose any buildings due to flooding. I don't think so. Anyway, we might lose power uh, because oh no, we won't even lose power. Power is fine. I mean, this is. This area is just... It's just natural disaster central, isn't it? It's quite crazy how many, uh, how many, how many issues we've had over here. We've had about three earthquakes. Earthquake up here, earthquake in here, earthquake over here. We've had a meteor strike. It's just, it's all happening over here. Okay, uh, now that the sort of waters have receded, let's think about getting the bridge back up and running. Yep, so we can uh, we can reconnect, reconnect the industrial area. Flooding has pretty much subsided. I mean, that's created like a, a nice little lagoon. Actually, we did lose a couple of things. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. It was a little bit uh, it was a little bit irritating. But we didn't lose that many people. Disaster reports. Citizens lost thirteen. Buildings destroyed nine. Building set on fire, trees set on fire. I mean, that was... That's probably about the lamest... The lamest 9.8 uh, scale meteor ever. It was... It was fine. It was, it was actually totally fine. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what's not fine. We lost a whole bunch of power turbines. Uh, wind turbines. That is not fine. That is a big old problem. Yeah, and we don't actually have the money at the moment to build build more power infrastructure. Okay. Uh, first things first, we should we should fix this bad boy up. Yeah, get that over there. So that'll fix our water issue. Second of all, I want to delete these I want to delete this. Is this empty? It's uh, Yeah, it's empty enough. Okay. Delete that. Also, where did that third incinerator go? I think it burnt down. Right, destroy that, and that's 5% full, that's 99% full. Okay, get that uplifting. We'll start getting start getting garbage out of there and into the incinerators. That's good. That still doesn't, that still doesn't solve the problem, uh, in a sense. Because we still have a massive, massive, massive power deficiency. About 60 megawatts, actually. Could we afford an oil power plant? We're close to being able to afford an oil power plant. Could we afford a hydro power plant? I mean, not really. Not enough money? I mean... I mean, the construction cost is gonna... I mean, 60,000? That's a, that's a heck of a lot of money. Uh, I'm just seeing if there is any way... That we can make this that we can make this work because we've got a twenty we got a twenty grand loan that we could take out and use if needed and believe you me I would suspect that we're probably going to need to use it. Uh, out of city limits. Still out of city limits. Okay. Come on, work with me here, video game. No, it's just nothing. Nothing's nothing's going my way today. Uh, I mean, what can I what can I afford with with forty grand? Solar updraft tower, not a chance. Geothermal, not a chance. Ski slope light pole, well, but maybe I guess. I mean, I can get I can get a coal power plant. I can get a coal power plant, that will cost me just less than 20 grand. I, to be honest, maybe that's the interim measure. I think that that actually is the interim measure. Okay. Coal power plant number one. 
take out the loan and let's get coal power plant number two. Ah, hold on. I can pay that off. Take you out. That's 60 grand. I probably should have done this uh, before I placed a coal power plant, but that's fine. You know what? It's okay. It's fine. It's not a problem. Uh, that's a coal power plant. Let's get an oil power plant as well. Uh, I mean, it's not my preferred way of going about doing this. However, it does mean that we don't have to worry about power for the foreseeable future. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm not thrilled about this. I don't love how we're using a whole bunch of dinosaur bones to power uh, to power the city. I'm not thrilled about it, but it's the reality of the situation. We're in this uh, we're in this mess together, and we got to get ourselves uh, we got to get ourselves out as quickly as possible. And turns out that fossil fuel is the best way to do it. Right. Once that cable comes online, we should be fine. Great. All right. Power is restored. That's fantastic. That's grand. That's glorious. That doesn't that doesn't fix our problems. Not by a not by a long shot. Uh, but it does it does put us on track. Okay. Let me just uh, redo this. Okay. Great. And that over there. There we go. I don't want any I don't want any merging into into lanes that are uh, that are not for merging. Okay. There we go. We've fixed the situation. This is grand. All right. Perfect. Everyone's pretty happy with that? Seems that way. I'm sure there's going to be an issue later on, but for now, that's pretty darn good going. Uh, this situation is unbelievably irritating. I mean, I want to put some parking restrictions on this area. Uh, just basically banning cars. Uh, cars should not be allowed to trespass on uh, the service roundabout. It's very important that that does not happen. All right, good. I mean, a couple of bits and bobs are gonna are gonna need fixing up, given that the the meteor did in fact do quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of damage. But that's fine. An academic year report. Any good news for us? Not really. Not really at all. University grad uh, rumbles on. It's fairly successful but not overly successful. Right. All right, this also needs to be redone because of course, uh, shenanigans happened with the meteor, irritatingly. Okay. That you turn in there. You go straight forward. You go over there. All right. Pretty much as simple as that, I think. Yeah. Okay. Great. So now we're forcing the game to uh, to split the traffic into different lanes if it wants to go in a certain uh, in a certain direction. So, yeah. Much happier with that. That's great. That's really really good. And one lane, one one lane to uh, to each direction of travel. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, in my opinion. The best way. Okay. Traffic is now officially sorted. I'm pretty happy with uh, with the whole traffic situation. Any update on the buses? Seven people per week taking the buses. I mean, that is unbelievably bad. That is unbelievably bad. Hold on. I've actually just had a brainwave. I've actually just had a brainwave. Legitimately a brainwave. Uh, so... A one-way, a one-way busway, or a one-way busway with trees. Let me roll with this idea for just a, just a, mi a, a millisecond, a microsecond, if you will. So 
so that's a one-way bus way. What does that do to our bus routes? Will they, uh, will they adjust? I'm not sure if they will adjust. Let me see if I can... Passengers, 30 out of 30. Yeah. I mean, if we could... I mean, if we could tell you instead to go to a specific... Oh, look, you've already, you've adjusted. You've adjusted uh, your route. Because that would be truly much, much better uh, if we could do that. If we could make that, uh, if we could make that happen. Yeah, let's let's see if it actually let's see if it works. Yep. Wow, that looks perfect. Okay, I suspect that this will actually have a fairly good a fairly good impact uh, on on traffic. Yeah, and buses and buses just in general, because half of our buses are now going to well they're going to be much quicker that's for sure. Right, let's see if we can increase the numbers from nine to something else. Uh, 15,000, we are close to 15,000, close to 15,000 population. We need to sort out garbage over in this area, I mean... Don't really know where we want to put, uh, our garbage trucks. Man, this is, this is a nightmare, and the only reason that it's a nightmare is because of this stupid shelter. Which is right in the wrong location. Yeah. Okay, well we need to we need to have some sort of mobile mobile garbage area, um, but we also just need to have more incinerators in general over over here. I think that this incinerator may have caught on fire and caused somewhat of a problem. Let's get that turned on. What's this over here? Too few services. I mean. Build more services near the building? I mean, I think that we've got... We got a fire station nearby. We got a... We don't have a clinic, but I, I didn't realize that... Uh, that industrial buildings needed uh, needed clinics. I mean, I'll put it down if that's going to help make a difference. Alright, sure. I'll put that down. All right. That didn't seem to have a huge effect. But I would dearly love it if all of my industrial buildings didn't suddenly become abandoned. Okay, am I funding am I funding garbage as much as I need to? I think I need to fund garbage way more. Yeah, garbage collection needs to go way up. Also, let's put bus travel uh way up. I can adjust the individual buses on individual lines if I need to. Okay. Yep. Good. Thing is that we just need to we need to build more and more incinerators. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and just stick more and more incinerators over here in the hope that one day we'll have enough. Uh, we'll have enough incinerators to satisfy the demand for uh, everywhere. I know it's kind of irritating that this area is almost completely unserved by uh by, by rubbish trucks, by garbage trucks. But that's fine. Hold up. What on earth is happening? These buses are going... These buses are going down there to get up here? How is that? Oh, yeah, because they need to go and drop off people over here. Yeah, that makes sense. But, I mean, it doesn't make sense that they're not just... That they're not just taking the... Uh, taking the line from here to here. Do that there, and then that there, and then that there. Will that speed things up uh, 
a bit. You never know. You never know. It might just it might just work. We'll uh, we'll see. Okay. Right. I mean, we're not doing too great in terms of money. We're not doing too great in terms of anything at the moment. How are we doing for police coverage over here? Police coverage is pretty darn poor. Uh, and in fact, we could really do with a bigger police headquarters in the uh, central area. Uh, the central big roundabout, that's kind of required. Uh, we could also do with a clinic that's a little bit bigger, probably. Ambulances in use, 8 out of 8. That's because the traffic flow has almost ground to a halt. How did things go from so great to so terrible? I don't, I don't actually know. I do not actually know whatsoever. Okay, can I move, can I move this? Oh no, stop, don't, don't empty it. Oh no, I need to empty it. I need to, I need to empty it. Wowzers, okay. Um, yeah, that's gonna take, that's gonna take a heck of a long time. I didn't realize that we had as many dead bodies uh, in this area as we actually do. All right, we'll start the process of emptying that. We do want to get a crematorium set up. Half of the cars seem to be taking a left turn in here just to access this uh, this underground area. I have absolutely no idea if this is going to make a shred of difference whatsoever. However, if we go underground and connect up to there, that in itself might speed things up. Also, uh, let's take another little punt at this... At that, at that, uh, at that line, yeah. Okay, and then traffic lights off here. There we go. Okay, great. I mean, that may well make some, uh, some difference. It might not. I'm just really hoping that we can try and get rid of some of this massive backlog that we've got here. I really, really, really want to solve this problem. We really can't afford to have uh, to have traffic issues right now. It's not a good look. Not a good look at all. Uh, yeah, building is emptying, but it's going to empty really, really slowly because the hearses are going to take ages to get to the other crematorium, which is all the way over here. Yeah. No matter what stage of life you're in, we have the perfect noodles for Yeah, okay. From birthday noodles to wedding Turn traffic lights off there, see if that makes a difference. To those most final of noodles. Every occasion has a noodle at Yakisoba, so experience something different. Yakisoba. It literally means All right, you know what? Let's move let's move that over there. Yep. I think that it's the only way that we can that we can successfully uh, successfully improve traffic in in a timely manner. All right, glorious. I think that's gonna I think that that is actually gonna make uh, make a massive old difference. Okay, that's good. We faffed around we faffed around with traffic for half the episode. I mean, what would you expect? Nothing less, I'm sure. Uh, but that does look like it is actually clearing. I keep saying this. I say it like every 20 minutes, I'm sure, but uh, I swear, I swear it looks fine now. Right. There we go. Hip hip hooray! It seems to it seems to work. Okay. Speed that up. All right, great. Good job, everyone. Traffic flow is definitely improving. All right. I feel that we're so close. We're so close to getting it just right. You know. So close to getting it just right. We're just in the we're just making the last sort of few amendments that we need to make. Okay. 
go over here. Great. Great. And great. I mean, truthfully, in a real, uh, in a real live situation, I don't think that you'd have a, a traffic issue like this. I think that this would all be uh, resolved fairly quickly, fairly easily. Oh, whoops! Looks like I neglected to to give the uh, the old emergency shelter a little bit of uh, a little bit of power, a little bit of water. There we go. Problem solved. All right, here come the garbage trucks. The garbage trucks are uh, are really what we need to are really what we need right now. All right. Good, 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 good. Okay, traffic for the most part is uh, is fixing itself. The tailbacks that we're getting are are much less severe. We've lost, I mean, a, a tremendous amount of population. Uh, Presumably because no one has any health care and a dead person is waiting for transport. I mean Okay, stop emptying Stop emptying and instead start making some more dead people collection, please Right there we go Temporary 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 dead person collection it's gonna happen. Uh, any dead person collection over here? Unbelievably, it looks like the services in this part of the town are, are actually not too bad. How is it that we're accelerating? How is how is the, the change of population accelerating right now? I mean, I do get that it is a, is it is a traffic related issue. But I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it whatsoever. I'm gonna complain, I'm gonna complain about it, I'm gonna complain about the traffic. Yeah, great. Uh, how's our industrial area looking? Our industrial area looks fine, looks like we sorted the, the garbage issues. Um, looks like, truthfully, there is uh, room to spare on the whole industrial area front. Uh, I'm gonna just uh, make sure that we zone absolutely everything that we possibly can as industrial so that we don't really need to worry about uh, so that we don't need to worry about it in the future. Traffic looks like it's flowing perfectly over here. That's great. Uh, looks like we've arrested the fall in population, which is quite nice. Uh, how many people have we got on the buses? 184. That is a darned big improvement. I am very, very happy with that. That is a, uh, that is a very, very, very substantial improvement. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. And you know what? We could actually go one better. Uh, we could legitimately get the buses to go this way. Yep, let's do this. We're going to have a secret back corridor for buses. Now, the reason that I want to do this... The reason that I want to do this is it will make a massive, massive, massive difference to traffic. Okay, so this is going to be specifically buses that are going to this area up here. There we go. Slope too steep, come on. Really? There we go. Okay, great. Fantastic. So, uh, that should, fingers crossed, make uh, make the buses that are going to the other uh, side of town. It should make them. It should make them uh, change routes. Since that's a bus-only route, they're not going to have to go around the roundabout. They're not going to have to... They're not going to have to double back on themselves. They're going to take... Uh, they're going to take the brand new route. Hey! That's great. That's perfect. So that should cut down on the traffic that's trying to go uh, over to this side of the map, and it will it will mean faster buses for everyone, which is exactly why we want bus lanes. Uh, are garbage trucks allowed to go on bus lanes? It looks like ambulances are. What are you, station wagon? 
grounds worker. I mean, I don't understand where why some people have the right to uh, to drive along bus lanes, but that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Okay, great. Uh, demand demand for houses is going way up. That's that's perfect. Uh, we do have a little bit of an issue over here. Let's stop. Let's get this moved. I want to put this right there. Yep, perfect. Okay. We still don't have a solution to the rubbish problem over here. I think that we might just want to set up a brand, a brand new, a brand new bin area. As much as I'm not thrilled about doing this because I know it's going to cause some localized pollution, uh, it just means that, just means that we can have, just means that we can have bins collected, uh, bins collected locally, which will be a massive improvement. And one that just needs to happen. Okay, so let's get let's get a, an incineration plant right over here. Uh, it's probably not permanent, but it might be. We'll just sort of have to see how it goes. All right, this area is going to become a lot more busy. It's going to become a lot more busy as the houses level up, and it's also going to become a heck of a lot more busy. Uh, as we expand down this way. Now, I'm thinking, actually, we've got this extra block that we can buy. Why not buy... Why not buy an extra area over here and just extend out the high-density housing in uh, Upper Avocado? I think that that might be the strat that we want to employ. I mean, we've got very, very high uh, demand for residential right now. We don't have the money to do that, but we'll do it. We'll do it in a little bit. There's no, um, there's no particular rush to make it happen. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm pretty happy I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty I'm pretty darn happy with that. Uh, traffic is almost sorted mercifully. That's great. Hey, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Our bus network is being taken to new highs. Actually, the depopulation was good for us, remarkably. Uh, not quite sure how that worked, but hey-ho. I mean, this, this system is working pretty well. Yeah. Everything's looking, everything's looking pretty darn good. And it all started with moving the emergency shelter out of town. That was absolutely what we was, uh, what we was, what we was requiring. Man. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty darned happy. Pretty, pretty, pretty darn happy. Okay, let's zone some more houses. Let's buy this new area. Great, perfect, happy days. Uh, we'll bring the large thoroughfare down just a bit. Uh, what is it? This one. I think it's that. It is indeed. It is indeed this. Okay. And then we want single track. Uh, what's the distance that we're looking for? That is the distance that we're looking for. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not certain at all that this is the optimal way of uh, of producing a district. But it is the way that we're going to roll for now. Uh, I think that, honestly, Upper Avocado has seen enough expansion. I don't think it needs any more expansion out the back. So I think we might get another road off down here. And then maybe make another district another district there. But certainly, the fact that we're using shorter roads uh, for the high-density area over here means that we can make a slightly longer uh, estate. Not enough money. That's unbelievably irritating. There we go. And let's zone this all. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start to see houses pop up remarkably quickly from here. Uh, I think that we're going to probably get over the, the line with this uh, with this expansion. So this is going to take us probably up to, uh, to 15,000 or so. Yeah. Very, very good. 
Now all we need to do is, uh, is start to wait for the population and the money to start rolling in. We're going to need more commercial districts uh, for these people. We're also going to need more bus services in order to get them to the commercial districts. But that's fine. Actually, hold on. I've had another I've had another bussy brainwave. I've had another bussy brainwave. Okay. What if what if we were to put a bus a bus only a bus only road to go down here? And then maybe we could emerge like over here or alternatively over here. We need way more money to make that happen, but it's going to happen. Uh, and that will further cut down on sort of congestion on this very, very important, uh, this very, very important junction. And if we can reduce congestion there, then that is, that is key. I think that is, uh, that is very, very key. Okay. Where's all these, where's all these people? None of them are really, none of them are coming along. Oh, you know what I've, uh, you know what I've just realized? We never replaced that high school, that high school that got, uh, that got destroyed. We never replaced it. We need to, we need to get that back on the cards. Do we have any loans that we can take out? We do indeed. Let's, uh, let's do it. What's the, what's the price? It's 24 grand. I mean, it's annoying that we don't have that we don't have the money for it but we'll be there we'll be there soon All right, why is this not uh, why is this not happening this really should be a lot quicker than uh, than I was anticipating okay right, well whilst, whilst we're waiting for the money we might as well fiddle around with this okay great Okay. Perfect. All these bad boys can just go straight on. Great. And here. Let's get you to come down this way. You to come down this way. You to come down this way. Yeah. Okay, so with that slight tweak, I think that we might try and get, uh, we might try and see, we'll see if this sort of backlog over here dies down a little bit. What the heck is everyone doing? Why is everyone, why is everyone turning around? This is absolutely not what I wanted. Everyone's getting onto the... No one's just going straight ahead. What the heck is happening here? This is the most peculiar set of situations that I've seen. go up to like here does that make any difference they really don't like this little bit of uh, sort of no man's land area wowzers yeah okay well that's a problem uh, not quite sure how this monstrosity developed but there we go and that's fine anyway I've got the money for a school now I might as well place it There we go. So it's going to make a bunch of people very, very happy. Uh, we've already got a high school over here, but I imagine that this is probably at capacity. Yeah, it's, it's at capacity pretty much. Uh, if we were to fund education to its fullest, what number of extra pupils would that give us? 1,250? I mean, that's pretty darn good. Academic year is over. Wonderful. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, let's go back to looking at that uh, that sort of bus lane proposal. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a tight fit here, I think. Right, do that. And let's go underground once again. And see if we can connect that up. There we go. Okay, no guarantees that this will uh, drastically reduce traffic. In fact, I'm actually certain that it won't reduce traffic because the bus, the buses all need to go uh, to the bus station anyway. So they're probably just as well cutting across there. Okay, well that was probably a little bit of a wasted endeavor, but I guess we'll see, right? I mean, I'm sure that it's going to come in handy at some point. Yeah, sure, at least the police cars can use it. That's some small consolation. Yeah, I'm just a, I'm just in, incensed at uh, at this at this issue over here. It just doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, they're all doing it. They're all doing it. I, I just I just don't know what to I don't know what to say. All right, delete that there. Will that make any difference? Yeah, a whole bunch of cars are now despawning. That's great. I suspect that that also has uh, knock-on implications for police and yeah see that's the problem it is knock-on implications for uh, you know health all this nonsense okay uh, let me see if we can fix this up yeah Alright. Does that make uh, does that make a difference? I think that that should restore healthcare to the people. Restore healthcare, it should restore fire, yep, and it'll restore police. Okay, great. That seems to fix seems to fix the issues that we were having with the roundabout. Which is grand. That is very, very good. Traffic flow is still at 77. I mean yeah. The promenade is still uh, unbelievably congested. It would probably be good to maybe ideally move the bus station uh, around a little bit. But, I mean, that's... It's livable. It's livable for now. I'm going to just remove all the traffic lights here in the hope that that, uh, that that has some sort of speed impact. It's just so slow. It's just so unbelievably slow. Okay, great. Well, we're on track. We're on track to hit our uh, to hit our milestones. That's what matters. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, if I was to put a big old police station in the middle here, would that? Uh, uh, well, we don't have enough money for that, so that's that's a non-starter straight off the bat. Hey, fantastic! Visiting scholars, liberal arts path. Okay, this is great. So we can make a liberal arts college campus area now. Which is wonderful. We've also got access to the crematorium. Perfect. All right. Crematorium is is the first port of call. What do you think? Seems to me that there's a lot of you out there who might need the use of the law accounting. But that's not legal advice. That's life advice. Okay. In fact, we're legally barred from providing legal advice. Crematorium is up and running. Let's get this uh, moved. And crematorium is now going to uh, going to start becoming operational and hopefully just hopefully we'll be able to get rid of all of the uh, deceased people over here we can start crema crema crematorying them cremating them 
predictable cravings you described. I've had similar experiences. Not with food, though. No, but I've noticed that my musical tastes have transformed. On Earth, I used to listen to Bach almost exclusively. After what the heck is happening here? Musical preferences have slowly gravitated towards the work of Mozart and okay. Haydn. Now I can stand Baroque music at all. Okay, it looks like the hearse, uh, the hearse procession is uh, is causing a little bit of a traffic jam. It's not going to last forever, but uh, but that's fine. I'll have to investigate this further. In the meantime, more music. All right. To be honest, I feel that this has been a, a real problem fixer of an episode. Okay, if I was to put the the headquarters over here, would that stretch all the way down? kind of would, and it kind of wouldn't. Right. Ideally, I'd like to put the the police station in the service roundabout, but I don't think that we're going to have the space. Yeah, we need to move the crematorium, and I've just put the crematorium in. Uh, so I can't move that until we've got the cemetery empty. So in the meantime, we're going to put the police station down over here and hope that it doesn't uh, hope that it uh, that it doesn't interfere with the traffic issues too much. I mean, they're police cars; they can kind of drive wherever they need to drive. Yeah, fine, great. Okay, lots of good stuff is happening. It's just happening at a slightly slower pace than normal, which is uh, which is actually infuriating me. Okay, great, great. Cemetery, yep. I think we should probably get another cemetery, or another uh, another crematorium uh, to deal with the issues uh, of the cemetery uh, overflowing. So that's fine. Traffic is looking good everywhere that I can see, apart from over here. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I do wonder maybe if we should just like reverse the flow of the roundabout. That would uh, probably, probably make things slightly easier in terms of turning left. But I also, I mean, I'm committed now. Feel that we've uh, we've started with this monstrosity. We've uh, we've got to we've got to finish with it. All right. How are so many people allowed to use the bus lanes? I'm really not happy about this. Not happy about this whatsoever. Uh, let's see. 192 residents. That's that's pretty good going to be honest. I'll I'll, I'll take that. Uh, Passengers, trips, saved. Passengers, 89. Percentage, saved. What does that mean? Alright. Bus lane... Bus lane 2 can be red. Uh, can I edit this one, please? I would love to edit this bus line. I could also get more people onto. I could get more people onto, uh, or get get more buses onto the line. I'm not sure that that's really what I'm after, though. Can I? Uh, can I make an? Uh, can I make an addition to this line, or is this? Uh, is this prohibited? Okay, hold on. Hold on. There is there is a way that I can do this. Yeah. Yeah, why uh why why can I not do this? Car trip saved 100%. Yeah. I mean it does look. It looks like it's going pretty darn well. Uh Okay, hold on. 
Why can I not edit this line? Facility empty. Hold up. All right, that's great news. Right, I can't. I can't figure out how to faff around with the uh, with the with the bus line. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about that too much. Uh, police station. That police station can go. That's great. Get rid of you. Uh, we've now got a much larger police headquarters, which is going to which is going to assist, and everything is going to be great. Nothing's going to go wrong. Wonderful. Why why on earth is this is this bit of is this bit of line so busy? Yeah, and why is it just not going? Why is it just not going faster? They all need to go. They all need to go down here. Apparently, and it's the buses. It's the buses which are uh, which are slowing everyone down. I mean, that's not a glowing endorsement of the the bus line, the bus situation. Yeah. Yeah, not super happy about that, but on the whole. I mean, on the whole, I think our traffic network is now fine. It's certainly in a better position than it was at the start of the episode. 82%. In fact, that might just be the, the highest number that we've ever had. Uh, which just ain't that bad. Right, hold on. I've got another, I've got another harebrained idea. Okay. There we go. Okay, do that. See if that makes a difference. So now, the traffic is going to be able to split in half if it needs to go... Uh-oh. Why was that uh, causing a problem? Why is this, uh, why is this an issue? Not quite sure why this is uh, reporting in as a problem. It says that it's en route. I mean, everything looks everything looks fine. It just uh, it just says that it's not uh, it's not particularly working. Oh, I know what's the problem. Uh, we may have cut through an underground. Bus lane? No, it doesn't look like that we did that. No, it looks fine. It looks fine. No, this is uh this is all This is all looking good. I'm just not entirely sure why uh Just not sure, entirely sure why this is uh, why this is looking as it is. Uh, if we put a stop in, like, no, no, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it beats me. Beats me why it says that we've got an issue. Yep, no idea, no idea whatsoever. All right. It does look like that little uh, that little road that we made will be having some sort of impact, but what sort of impact? I just don't know. Yeah, boy oh boy oh boy. I feel that when it rains, it pours, and it just has it has absolutely poured in this episode. Absolutely poured. It's been nothing but nothing but issue. Nothing but issue after issue after issue after issue. Okay, crematorium availability is I mean far too low, far far too low. Can we put a crematorium on the inside here, or maybe even on the outside? Right, get a crematorium over there. That's pretty required, to be honest. Bins. 
We're doing fine for bins. Now that the traffic is moving much faster, that's great. We're having fewer issues. There is definitely some issue with, uh, with bus lines, and I feel like I've caused it by doing something. But I don't actually know what I have done in order to cause it. Which is just fantastic. Yeah, just, just, just great. Uh, okay. Delete that line. Yeah. And let's start up a brand new bus line. Wait, why have we got a white bus line now? Why is that showing as a... Uh as a white bus line? It really shouldn't be. Right, I need to I need to go and try and figure this out because uh, for some obscure reason I'm just not managing to do it. I I I'm just I'm just not managing to do it. There is something that is escaping me about this. I, I can't click. I can't click the bus lanes. There is... I'm usually able to click uh, to click the bus routes and make it work, but apparently it just doesn't it just doesn't want to work. Well, so there you go. Alright, well, uh, I'm not gonna faff around any longer. I'm gonna try and fix this situation off camera. Uh, hopefully, ladies and gents, you'll join me next time for a more interesting episode of City Skylines. Uh, the bins are almost fixed. I say that. They're not really almost fixed. That was a bit of a lie. Uh, I also feel that maybe the dead bodies are finally going to get picked up. You'll have to tune in next time. Thank you very, very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.